Hey dudes, today I want to talk about how to create a new playlist in Pro Tools. Basically what this is, is a way for you to have different versions of the same audio, like different takes or different edits or different renders of some type in the session, all in sync at the same time, not interfering with each other. And the beauty of it is if you ever make a mistake and you need to go back in time, the playlist will preserve that. So let's jump right into it and see what I'm talking about. All right, so let's listen to this example. Creating a playlist is important because if you make a mistake. All right, so probably what I would want to do is get rid of this mouth click right here. Yeah, that's gross. So what I would do is probably, you know, click on this and go to audio suite and then do a, a mouth de-click through isotope or something along those lines. Uh, the problem if you keep rendering and rendering and rendering is that you might render too hard or make a mistake or do something that you're not actually trying to do. And then it's hard to go back in time if you like didn't realize you made that mistake or whatever, right? Um, you could have different takes of different ADR or different vocal performances or, you know, different styles of denoise or whatever it is. So let's jump into this playlist technique to help save you to make sure that you don't make that mistake. So next to the name of any track, there is this little arrow that's pointing down that's called playlist selector. And if you click on that, you can either create a new playlist or you can duplicate the existing playlist that you have. So let's do a duplicate. Okay, and then what I like to do is either something like this where I go dx01.og for original, or I'll do something like dx01.rx. Rx is the name of the isotope suite that has denoising in it. So if I see a track that has Rx in the title of it, it'll let me know that it's either ready for me to denoise or I have done some denoising. So let's leave it at that and hit OK. And then let me just show you what a playlist can do. So I'm going to do something dramatic by just deleting all of that. So we wouldn't want that. The playlist is important. But here is why the playlist is important. is because I can then click back where our playlist selector was and go back to my original playlist. The playlist is important because if you make a mistake, if I make a mistake like I did, I can always go back in time and go back to this old playlist. I could then like copy and then paste right in the spot. Or I could, you know, drag it out into another track and then drag it back into place of the mistake I made or some version of that. But you can see this is handy because you could just be tootling along in your Pro Tools session thinking you're just doing this awesome job and then you realize later, uh-oh, oh no, I've made a mistake. I need to go back in time. No problem, I can do that with the playlist. So depending on what type of project you're working on, there's different recommendations for a workflow. So for example, if you are working in film sound, I recommend as soon as you finish your dialogue edit, go ahead and just make a new playlist of everything. That way it allows you to be brave and move forward with any denoising, rendering, editing, anything that you need to do. And then if you need to go back in time to an older playlist, you're all good, you can do that. If you have different versions of ADR, like different performances or something like that, this is a good quick way to A-B those different tracks or different vocal performances in music or anything like that where you need to have different clips. Remember, it keeps all of your inserts and routing and sends and everything like that. It's just swapping out different clips so that you can either hear the difference between stuff or go back in time and save your butt like we were talking about. Another thing that's really important about this is that when a playlist is not active, it is not playing at all. So you have to remember two things. It will not play back out loud, which you want. And also what's really great about it is that the computer is not 
thinking about it anymore. So in terms of computer processing power, it's not thinking about that. Then when you swap it, it just swaps to the other one and thinks about that and then forgets about the previous one. So this is also a good technique to keep your session clean and to not have your computer be overworked because it's only thinking about the main playlist. All right, I hope this helps you out and I hope this keeps your sessions nice and neat moving forward. Until next video, later dudes.